I'm Wade Kisner and I grew up hunting upland birds. Nothing's better than chasing a couple English setters called Sweet Lou and Adeline. Lou is a master hunter and Adeline is quickly learning the trade. These are some of our tales. I had a feeling the thumbs up would work. the last couple of years, I've developed a real passion for hunting with English setters. I got Lou about six years ago as a 10-week-old puppy, and Adeline has just turned two years old. And Lou has a real interesting story. Back in 2008, uh, my good friend Ray had raised a litter of puppies. One of the puppies he was left with, nobody picked him out of the litter. He was the last one. And for whatever reason, Ray brought him to my house and uh, said, here's your dog. Setters are trained to assist the hunter in the field by locating a bird using their nose. When they detect the scent, they go on point. Most of the time, without even being able to see the bird, they're just pointing on the scent alone. Keep thinking about it. They hold that point steady until the hunters get a chance to come in and flush the bird, shoot that bird, and then get released for the retrieve. All right, buddy. Nice and warm in there, isn't it? Good. She's ready to roll. All right, I think we got everything. Hey, Scott. What's going on, Wade? Morning. Morning. Good Morning. to see you. This is only my third time to be out working with dogs and hunting over dogs, and uh, truly fascinating to watch them. Sunday morning and uh, we're headed down to Riverside, Iowa to uh, Island Hideaway hunting. I'm gonna try to work the dogs down there on some birds. Got my friend Scott and my son Tyler with me today and uh, hopefully they shoot better than I do. Are you guys hearing that now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of enthusiasm in the truck here. Awesome. young female dog that we're trying to get some, uh, some bird experience. It's about 18 degrees, a little bit of a wind. That breeze will be helpful to the dogs to uh, pick up the scent on these birds. So I'm hunting today with, uh, with an old Remington Model 1100. Uh, it was my granddad. This is Adeline, she's a two-year-old tricolor English setter. And she's the one we're going to be working specifically with today to try to get her some, some bird action and uh, see how she does on retrieving. We're going to have, Tyler, I think I'm going to have you kind of walk down there on the other side of the truck. We'll push back to the north, away from that house, in case we have any birds down there. We'll push them back up here in the field where we can uh, work them more towards the middle of the field. So I think that's how we'll start. Scrap in the middle of the road. <laughs> Come on, Abby. Come on. <laughs> Let's go right through this food plot. You know, sometimes you get lucky right off the bat. You don't have to look real hard for birds, and uh, it was kind of the, the case that particular day. We set out in that field, and right away it was obvious that the dogs were uh, getting some scent and were getting birdie. We're ready. Never seen a dog like Lou before. Get them out there in the field working together. It's like magic. Birds is a new phenomenon. I mean, at least these pheasants. Uh, big game. I grew up in Texas. We did waterfowl, quail, dove, uh, but no pheasants. Uh, coming up here, that's the first time I've been on any kind of pheasants. So. We started pushing through the field to the north, got down along a fence line. We could tell that Lou was on a bird. Shortly thereafter, Addie started getting very birdie too. Bird in here somewhere. Gonna got Addie coming in there though. She's gonna push him up this way. We use these electronic collars. When the dog stops moving, the collar detects a lack of motion and makes the collar beep. If we're not able to see the dog, 
in the field and hear the beep, we know he's on point. Get on that outside. Whoa. Uh, one of the roosters was running down through a wooded thicket, which kind of made it hard. We just couldn't get in there to get a shot. Whoa, Addy. Whoa, Addy. Good girl. Addy's got him pinned here. Stop. You ready? Right on the yeah, I don't know. Ah! There he is! Got well, some fast flying birds. Watch it, watch it, watch it. So we lost the bird. Dad blames the warm weather and the brush. You know, over the course of the season, my ammunition had ran a little low, and so I thought I'd try to cheat and use some seven and a halfs. He's always blaming something. At least that's the excuse I'm gonna use. It was like 19 degrees. My fingers were frozen to the gun. Oh, Sometimes you just gotta keep moving. So after we lost that bird, we kept pushing. And as you get to the edge of this field, it kind of has a slight hill that comes down. It ends in some timber and there's a small creek that kind of meanders down through there. You gotta be careful anytime you're carrying firearms on unsteady terrain. Ooh, big hole here, guys, be careful. It's a widow maker there, for sure. Birds typically, if they're, especially if they're running ahead of us, will go down into that little timbered area. Loot works those ravines, and if there's a mud hole someplace, he's gonna lay in it. Uh, he does that all the time. What's happening, I think, is uh, the birds, it's a little warmer today, um, so the birds are running ahead of us, so the dog goes on point. The bird, meanwhile, is running a little ahead of us, so what I think we're gonna do is push it just a little bit further. We had walked nearly the entire length of the field already. Pretty hard point. Okay. Finally, Lou was on point. So here's Lou standing here on this beautiful point. And I tell one of the guys, I think we're in position. Walk in there and flush that bird out. It's not real hard though. It must be down into that timber. You want me to cut over? And I'll be damned, over. the bird comes out. Might want to get on that outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wouldn't you? and not a one of us is in position. Thing gets a free ride. We ended up walking a little further. Then we heard the beep. I'm gonna try to kick it out of there somehow, but I don't know where he's gonna go. Right there. You guys ready? I knew we only had a second or two. Pheasants aren't like quail. They don't sit. You have to react quick to the dog's point and get up there. Rooster. Finally. But a real pretty bird. We had one bird in the bag. Then, out of nowhere. Good boy. The most enjoyable part of hunting for me is dog work. That's really gratifying. That's a good time with uh, my dad and a good friend and couldn't ask for anything else. We started this tradition where we would always stop and get a hamburger for the dogs after a good day's hunt. Lou always tells me hold the pickles.